Hi, welcome to the Snooker UK Championships at the York Barbican Vlog. My first ever Snooker UK Championships at the York Barbican Vlog and possibly my last. So my intention for this particular vlog is to follow the adventures of myself and my brother James and our friend Des as we travel to the city of York for the Snooker UK Championships at the York Barbican. Welcome back to the Snooker UK Championships at the York Barbican vlog. You join us now on the day of uh, the event and um, we are leaving at uh, six, 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 nine six minutes past six it is. Nine minutes past six in the morning is the current time. Um, we thought we'd leave early because it's, um, it's about a three and a half hour drive to, we'll be staying at a pub called the George Inn in the town of Selby, which is around 14 miles away from York itself. So we thought we'd get there so that we could check in, leave our stuff there and then get a bus to the York Barbican. And then uh, obviously after the event, event finishes, we'll get a, bu a bus back from York to, to Selby again to stay in our digs at uh, the Georgian in Selby. So um, yeah, like I say, we've got a long drive ahead of us. It's just gone six in the morning, both quite tired. James, how are you feeling about it? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. I've, I've perked up a little bit since uh, waking up at 20 past five. I'm all right. But you can see there, I don't know if you can see, it's quite difficult to do this. Uh, um, I'm not sure if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. It's a long, long journey ahead of us. Um, we're going to sort of break the back of the journey early doors um, and then probably, you know, a couple of hours in, perhaps stop and get something. Um, stop some breakfast, but um, yeah, speak soon. Still early on in the journey, it's only um, half past six, so we've still got a long old stretch to do. I just thought I'd um, make another brief appearance because I forgot to mention that um, Des, obviously coming from London, he'll be meeting us there. Um, he, he, he's going directly to York on the train. Um, so I'm sure that uh, we'll hear of his adventures but uh, the main reason for me uh, coming back to you at this early stage is to vlog this weather because you, as you can see it is absolutely teeming it down with snow um, it's like sleet and... sort of sleety snow going to be tough uh, driving conditions for James but I'm sure he's going to be able to uh, deal with it um, in Derbyshire now so we've got another hour and a half but as you can see conditions uh, very arctic like James is doing a great job behind the wheel though to be fair some some fantastic driving from James um, currently doing around about uh, 40 miles an hour um, 55 55 miles an hour I beg your pardon just having a quick stop at the services, uh, so I thought I'd give you an idea of what the, what the weather's like. Uh, yeah, just a brief stop. Gonna get grab grab something to eat quickly. Uh, still haven't had any breakfast. I mean, it's only quarter past eight or something like that. So uh, yeah, but I thought I'd give you a little pan of what this weather's like because it really is snowing quite heavily now. Tricky, tricky conditions. Selby train station. We're just awaiting our train to York. Um, slight delay. There's been some weather disruptions today, so Des is having a bit of a problem getting in uh, from London on the train. Um, he was due to arrive in York at around 12:30, but due to weather disruption delays, he's probably not going to get into York uh, train station until about two now. So um, 
snooker starts at one, so it's gonna. I think it's like uh, sort of ten minutes. The venue itself, where the snooker is, is about ten minutes from the train station as well. So, yeah, he's gonna miss quite a lot of the um, afternoon session uh, in typical Des Howler fashion style. Uh, but yeah, we've got just myself and James here. In um, yeah, just having a nice uh, cup of tea in Selby train station. Just waiting to get into York. Hopefully, we should get into York. Um, in plenty of time to watch the uh, start of the snooker. I do love a train station and uh, this is my first time at York train station and um, yeah, impressive and in fact over there looks like we've got an equally impressive crimbo tree. Love it! Welcome back to the Snooker at York vlog. If you join us now, uh, we are in York. It's about 25 to 1, so um, our train was delayed slightly also, but we still managed to get here in time, I think. It's about a sort of 15-20 minute walk till we get to the venue, and the snooker starts at 1, so we should just about make it for the start. Um, Des still not here. He ranks he's going to get here about sort of 2 o'clock in the afternoon, um, so it's a shame, but... Snooker's due to start at 1. Shame, shame, but looks like he might miss the... Yeah, it does look like he might miss the start of the snooker, but... I mean, he must have checked the forecast lot last night, I assume, and thought, oh, there's, I see there's a storm coming. I, I see no problems with uh, public transport disruption there and gone ahead with his original plan of leaving London at nine o'clock in the morning, knowing that, knowing that he had to get into York by midday. I think but, that, um, you know, it's not like Des to make a mistake like that. I think that um, regardless of... I mean, even if it was perfectly sunny weather... Leaving, leaving yourself for about three, three and a half hours to get to York from London, 210 miles, ridiculous, it's an, an appalling decision. Yeah. yeah. Odd chat, but uh, anyway, we've got to concentrate on cross, crossing this road and in, in getting ourselves uh, to the snooker on time. Back to the uh, Snooker Barbican UK Championships York vlog. Uh, join me now here at the Rook and Gaskill pub in York, joined by my acquaintances Des and James. We've seen um, a fair bit of snooker this afternoon. What would be your... Uh, Highlight from this afternoon's snooker. Uh, well, I really I enjoyed the uh, Jack Lazowski and uh, uh, O'Donnell game. Yeah, very much so. Even it was a bit turgid at times. Yeah, um, very enjoyable. I think, as I said earlier, not a game I would choose to watch on TV for three hours. But when you when you watch it live. Very enjoyable. I, I don't recall what the highest break was in that match, but I think it was about four. There was no, there were no high breaks, were they? Of no. Seven, I think, was the highest. Break. But I think we did see some high breaks, possibly in the O'Sullivan Williams match. Yeah, um, I think what did uh, O'Sullivan get uh, an early high break? I'm not sure. Um, I think Ky did Kyron Wilson. Kyron Wilson got an early. 10, 120, something like that. Yeah. High quality play. Um, but yeah, uh, probably uh, the match I enjoyed most of all was probably the Zowski and, and uh, o, what's his name? O'Donnell. O'Donnell. 
uh, actually, even though the quality was relatively poor. One for the uh, for O'Sullivan the just sort of phoned it in against Williams. Um, Kyron Wilson, the warrior. Yeah. Um, quality, a, 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 a formidable uh, performance. And, and we've... Um, what was the uh, own... No, no. Ben Wollaston against Yang Bing Tao. Yeah, yeah. And that was that was on the end. Yeah, the really watched much of that. And um, we've seen a few sort of familiar um, f- faces. I think Des, you described it as being like the Comic Con of snooker in uh, the yeah. in the Barbican. Well, yeah, um, I don't, you know, I don't want to steal someone else's uh, quote, but yeah, that, that I, I have heard that that was what it was described <laughs> as. Uh, Alan McManus walking around the venue. Uh, Jimmy White, I bumped into coming out of a toilet Nigel cubicle. Nigel Bond on the Nigel Bond on the practice table. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, very, very, very uh, sort of family atmosphere. Yeah. In the York Barbican Centre. I'm just, I'm just sort of just glad to be here. To be honest, it was a yeah. slightly traumatic journey for you. Yeah. And when, then, and uh, Radzi was there as well, wasn't he? The Radzi, the Mark was very really happy to see Radzi. Uh, we, as we walked in after collecting our tickets from the box office, there was Alan McManus, uh, Jimmy White, uh, world fi- world championship finalist six times, and Radzi of CBB's fame. And Mark goes, "Hi, Radzi!" As we walked past, <laughs> so, um, and, got himself, and got a selfie with him. He's a good presenter. Sure will appear after this. He's a good presenter. What that can I say? Like a nice He's a really man. nice lad. Yeah, seems like a nice bloke. Um, we just had a bit of fish and chips in. Um, what was that place called? Jenny's. Jenny's, Jenny's Chippy was Jenny's it? Jenny's Chippy. Yeah. Um, it was. It was going really well until Mate Boy demanded the ketchup back in a relatively hostile manner. Oh, I don't think it was hostile. I think. Was it? Uh, force. I would say forceful. <laughs> Severe. Assertive. Assert- yeah, assertive, yeah, yeah. 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 assertive slash aggressive. Now we're in the Rook and Gaskill. Um, and now we're going back to the yeah, just gonna finish these. Barbican. And we're going to go back to the Barbican and watch John Higgins. Hopefully uh, get some front row seats. Mark, uh, Mark Allen if his empire hasn't collapsed. Um, maybe, uh, Ali Carter maybe. And who's the other? Uh, um, I don't know who else. Oh, some oh, channel. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, in other news, um, unfortunately, I've been suffering all day with um, a cold. I'm full of cold. It's uh, been quite a long day for me. So there's talk that I may go back early for a bit of Rudyard. Um, more on that to follow because I am not, I'm not feeling great. I don't know if you can see, but um, yeah, I don't look great. Um, not feeling well at all. These boys are on the beers, I'm on the coke. So um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But potential early Rudyard from me. If that happens, then I'll have to get Des and uh, James to um, get me some footage for the remainder of the vlog. the snooker at york uh vlog day two um i say day two we're, we're leaving today um got a good night's kip um yeah the snooker ended quite prematurely for us last night um because i'm fortunate I, I just felt pretty pretty terrible pretty full of cold i don't know if you can you can probably tell from my voice in this um so yeah we left early but we had a great day um i managed to um get a couple of photographs with um some uh f- 
heroes of mine, uh, Radzi, the presenter, and uh, Alan, Alan Ingalls McManus, the Scottish uh, snooker player, so I was pleased to have met those two. Uh, both seemed nice chaps. Uh, then between sessions we went to get some fish and chips at Jenny's Chippy, uh, which I have to say, if you're ever in this area, um, check that out. Some of the best fish and chips I've ever uh, ever had, so uh, yeah, certainly uh, give that a go. I'll definitely be leaving them a trip advisor review. Um, then we went for a quick drink in a pub called the Rook and Gasker, which is very nice. A uh, nice pub. Um, and then we went back to the snooker. Unfortunately, at this point, I did start to take a pretty uh, pretty bad turn. Um, so I actually watched, I think, maybe one or two frames um, of the jo of John Higgins game. And... Um, then I, I had to I had to retire because I was I wasn't feeling well at all, and then we struggled to get a taxi back from um, the Barbican to the York train station, um, so we had to walk in quite horrific conditions um, from the Barbican to um, which to Selby, which didn't which didn't help matters at all, um, and then we got and then we got the train from um, from York to, to Selby, got back to the. Um, <clears throat> George in here and Selby at around half ten. Um, then, yeah, then that was it. Uh, retired to our rooms, watched the match of the day. And now this morning we're just going to go... Um, I think we're still waiting for Des to get up, actually. He's enjoying his uh, child-free Rudyard. But um, soon we'll be going downstairs into the, um, the main um, pub area to get uh, a bit of breakfast, which is included within the ticket price. So I'll all sure see you soon. Back here now, join us now. Just about to enjoy uh, breakfast. There's no plates for the toast or no bread actually. So And no orange juice, no hot water. So um, TripAdvisor um, yeah, view, review might not go down that well. Enjoying their breakfast. Des's superb buttering technique <laughs> for all to see. Cold butter on wheat bread. A... Separating the wheat from the chaff. Just on our way home now. Um, have to wait for this uh, wind shield to clear. For leaving James, good weekend. Yeah, yeah, quality. Really enjoyed it. Um, it's a shame we didn't get to stay later last night, but uh, can't be helped. Um, but yeah, all in all, a top quality weekend. That brings us to the end of the snooker at the York Barbican UK Championships vlog. Um, yeah been a testing weekend if I'm honest uh, weather been tricky traveling about has been hard I've been not feeling great I've been feeling under the weather you might say um, enjoyed the snooker enjoyed uh, spending some time with James and um, Des York looks like it would be a lovely city to visit if the weather wasn't so uh, so bad uh, but um, yeah so if you've got this far got this far Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe.